You can find some of my videos in MP3 form at jasongallant.ca. Every day on social media you will see someone who is externally focused and they're crying or they're depressed about the fact that somebody in their life doesn't love them or no one loves them. And the cycle continues, it, it never seems to stop because they have come up with ideas about how this love should happen. And even if someone does approach them with love at some point, I'm sure that they will reject it in a lot of ways and then come up with another reason why it isn't really love. But what I'm talking about is a pattern of externally looking for love. You know, like the Garth Brooks song, looking for love in all the wrong places, right? <laughs> but when you really want to discover love, you stop looking externally. You stop looking for other people to show you something or you stop looking at life and say, life should be a certain way in order for it to be love. That has to start first. When you stop looking, stop expecting, stop projecting, then you start opening. You start being able to receive. And when you receive, the only thing that really happens is that love happens. Your ability to experience love has to do with your receptivity. It has to do with your openness to what is. It isn't about whether life is this or that. It's about letting go of your expectations, letting go of the game that you have made life play. When you let go of your conditions on everything that's external, then something internal starts to happen. This is all internal. You see, it's a misunderstanding. It's, it's a grand misunderstanding. In many cases, you are looking for something that isn't love at all, but you think it is. Everyone knows that love is experienced in the heart. But what does that mean? What does that mean when you experience something in the heart? How does one experience something in the heart? And then there are words that spiritual people use. They say, open the heart, receive, but how does this happen? What are the mechanics around this? When you stop thinking, stop judging, stop perceiving from the perspective of I, you stop being so sure of your point of view, that is when you exit the mind. And the opening of the heart is automatically realized from that. The point of view is what causes the pain. It's you clinging to the point of view. That's what shuts down the heart. It's what causes you to sit in the tiny island of the mind. It's like a deserted island. You're stuck in there. But you see, the heart was open all along, but you are not free to experience the heart because you have forced yourself into the tiny prison of the mind. So if you wish to exit that prison, you take breaks from thinking, take breaks from holding on to point of view, take breaks from being right about everything in your life, including yourself. And this happens in meditation or when you're sitting in quiet contemplation in the woods, listening to the airplanes go by. <laughs> when you are free from commenting, 
when you're just here, just embrace the here-ness. The heart naturally opens like a flower. At least that's the experience to the one that is experiencing anyway, but I won't get into that. But the fact is your experience of life changes. At some point, love is realized within. And then you're free from this game of looking externally to find it. Love is an experience, so become a master of your own experience. If I could give you the feeling of exhilaration right now in this moment, you probably wouldn't have to jump off a cliff in order to get that exhilarated feeling. So, isn't that a win-win? You, you would have the feeling of exhilaration without the risk of jumping off a cliff. These experiences are all within. Surrender the thinking, surrender the point of view. Surrender the limited understanding of yourself. There are a lot of misconceptions you have about you. And you have seen through the illusion of a few of them, I'm sure, since the time you were a child. I'm sure at some point in your life you said, I am this, I am that. And then you realize later, no, no, I'm, I'm that, but I'm also something more. So always open up to the possibility of what you truly are. And know that it is grander than you think. So I hope this helps. Take care for now.